Welcome back Lord of the Rings fans. This is the LTR Gamer YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing an unboxing of a collector booster box uh, from the Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-earth Magic of the Gathering. Uh, so this was the the winner of the big vote that we had earlier um, with the runner-up being the special edition box. So today we'll be opening up this box with our follow-up video being this box. So stay tuned for this that video. Uh, but before we open up this box, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to be notified of future videos, especially this particular video because you you don't want to miss that one, as well as other uh, Lord of the Rings related uh, content. There'll be more things such as um, uh, Magic the Gathering card related videos, as well as of course the the OG uh, Lord of the Rings trading card game. Um, related content. There'll be things like uh, Weta product unboxings, some board game reviews, uh, things of that nature. So things you, you don't want to miss. So be sure to hit that bell so you don't miss any videos. All right. So let's jump right into this. So yeah, this, uh, this set's been out for almost a year now, give or take. I think it came out in June of last year. And I've been dying to get a box, but I've just been kind of too cheap. They're kind of expensive, but I thought I'd splurge finally. Now that the the one of one serialized ring is is gone, the hype is all over. Uh, but there are still a few a few chase cards out there. Some serialized uh, soul rings. Uh, so maybe we'll get one of those. I don't think there's too many left that I'm aware of, but. But yeah, we'll give it a shot. It'll, it'll be a fun, fun video either way. What are collector boosters? Here, we'll look at the, the box a little more closely once we actually take this, this wrapper off. And we'll do it the, the traditional ceremonial way with our Aragorn knife. And some soul rings. Take this guy off. I do have a couple uh, penny sleeves and some hard uh, top loaders ready to go when we get those those great cards. So box is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the glare on it. The Kind of like the, the foil there. You have kind of a creepy looking Frodo on it. Uh, may not include the serialized ring card. We know that now. So there's the back of the box. You can pause the video and give that a read if you so choose. Mm -hmm. And there's the what are collector boosters, some exclusive cards, tons of foils. Yeah, there's 12 booster. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the box topper, so we'll have to open up that one as well. Yeah, so pretty, pretty cool. A lot of boosters. I, I forgot to look up what order of the pack, so we'll just kind of look through it. We'll work through the pack as is. Nothing else special in it. Yep, so we the box off to the side. So we got our 12 packs plus the, the box topper. We'll start off with this just for just to kick things off. Nope, and we got a nice foil. Here, Groom, Sword of Rohan. It's a pretty good, pretty good pull. I don't think it's any different being a box topper, any kind of promo. So I already have a similar car like this. I think these are going for 10, 12. I'll throw a, throw a sleeve on that just so we don't lose track of it. 
All right. So let's get started on these. Do some quick rips. I can't remember if there's, it's been a while since I've opened these packs. Let's see if it's, oh, do I got Not too bad. This pack would be a good way to get a, some sweet foil tokens too. So I'll have to try to organize these. All right. So you get a lot of foils in these packs. So a lot of the the common, uncommon ones aren't really, even though they're foils, they're not worth anything too much. We have Brandywine Farmer, Mordor Trebuchet, Walaghai Crusher, Arlen's Gift, Gandalf Sunction, Cannot pass, that's a foil. Oh, nice foil. Planes. Oh, Hugh the Antwood foil. There's our a mythic rare. I'll keep that one off to the side. That's a foil too. Not sure what that's that's going for. Horn of the Mark, it's rare, non-foil. Mirkwood Elk, rare. Oh, Nazgul, these are good, uh, pretty valuable uh, uncommons. So we'll keep that off to the side too. I believe they're the only like, kind of chase cards that aren't rare, rare mythic rares. Oh, we got a Tom Bombadil. Nice mythic rare there. Hold on to that guy. Many partings. Nice extended art there. And then Rising of the Day. Some nice artwork there. Some of them probably not worth too much, but definitely cool artwork. So for collection, I think that's worth worth keeping. I'll have to start making particular piles of valuable versus keeping versus just throw in the box. Here we have Baradur. Nice foil land. All right. So not a bad pack. I don't think we got anything, any major hits. That I'm aware of at least, nothing Nothing huge yet, uh, but we'll see. It's still early. It's only the first pack. I got the the card list of a card list of all the the top top cards, and it's not not in those. So let's keep rolling. Nice fall human soldier. Nice foil shire terrorist. I'll start going through this a little faster until we get to the, the goods. The commons and the uncommons aren't, uh, except for maybe the foil lands, those are kind of cool. Oh. Orcish Bowmasters. This one actually is worth, um, or was at least at one point worth a decent penny. I don't know what it's what what it's trading at now, but I know it was pretty high, and it's a foil, so that's that's definitely a keeper. Sauron's ransom, nothing fancy. Pippin, don't think so. Got our Faramir, oh, mine's a Moria, great for the collection. Oh, Delighted Halfling. These are uh, a pretty decent chase card too. I think those have some good value too. Again, the prices are always fluctuating, so you have to, have to check, but I know these are 
not too bad. I'd say this pack's definitely been pretty decent so far. Uh, golem, nothing too fancy. Oh, this one's pretty cool. Might not be worth much, but at least for the foil and artwork, I think that one's pretty a keeper for the collection, at least. Alright, let's keep rolling. Sharky forged anew. I don't think that's anything spectacular. Lothlorian blade. Don't think that's anything spectacular. Gandalf one Colin. I don't think so. Ooh, LSR the Elf Stone. I haven't come across this one, but Mythic Rare. Nice art. I'll put that on the, the good pile. Lash of the Balrog, nope. Nasty end. Definitely cool art. Nope. Nope. Fangon Tree Shepherd. Definitely cool artwork. Can we'll have to check the check the value of that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see what we get. Cool tentacle. All right. Let's burn through the commons. Great foils, though. Pretty cool, even if they are only worth 10 cents. Butterbur. Yeah, we got the Riddermark. Let's, let's keep the land. Those are pretty cool for the, at least for the commander deck. Worn upon a wind. Oh, we got it. The one ring. This was definitely uh, not a foil, but. This one's definitely up there for for chase cards. I think it's going for not in the foil, but for normal. I think it's going close to 80 US. So that was definitely a good pull for that one. So we're definitely gonna hold on to, I think that's the, I'd have to double check because this is the extended art. I always get them mixed up because there's like a million, a million versions. Um, but yeah, it's a, usually the ring is usually a good, a good pull in general. You can't go wrong. I would definitely have to uh, definitely have to verify what's the the going rate. See if I can quickly find it. That's not a big deal. Either way, you know, good pull. I'll just have to confirm which version of it it is and, and what value it's at. Now we have Gua here. It's 
a pretty good pull there. Oh, another Golem Patient Plotter. Put that in the Uncommon Pile. A Smeagol, we'll put that on the Meh Rare Pile. No, Elephant. Oh, a nice Legendary Land. It's an Uncommon, but it's a pretty sweet card for the collection. Oh, and same, oh, here's a pre-release uh, promo. Lobelia Sackville Baggins is. I got enough penny sleeves. I might as well start throwing some of these foil keeper cards into them. I'll have to look up the Lobelia one. I'm not sure what that's what that's going for. The Grey Havens. It's definitely a Great artwork card there. That one's definitely worth, good for the collection. Let's get the islands. I'll keep the, the lands together. Keep all the uh, valuables and maybe valuables together. Cue the what I know I I pulled the poster card version of this in the the special edition. That's the only poster card I've pulled so far. Hopefully the next video that'll be that will change. Worth something. It's worth throwing in there. Let me check. The... All right, now that we're somewhat organized, we'll carry on. Almost halfway through the packs. Got a nice treasure card. Okay, let's see what we get in this guy. Commons, commons, commons. Commons. Keep our land. It's our first rare. Lotho. I think I've pulled that one. I don't think he's anything special. I'll keep him at, throw him in our meh rare. Doors of Durin. I think I have that one already. Sauron the Litless Eye. Mythic. That one's pretty cool. Peregrine Took. It's not uncommon. Give me Mournful Avenge, uh, Avenger. Flame of Unor. Thumbnail Crabine. Frodo Sauron's Bane. It's a pretty cool one there. I don't think this one's worth much, but it's a cooler looking one than the one that I have in my my collection, so I'll throw that one in a sleeve. And same with the Sauron. I don't have this one, so... 
Sauron the Litless, Litless Eye and Frodo Sauron's Bane. Pretty cool out there in the same, same pack. All right. Not too bad for the first five packs. Let's see what we got next. Nice human soldier token. Let's burn through these commons, commons. Uncommons. Got our land. What's our first rare? Oops. Oh, Horn of Gondor. Not, nothing too special there. Uh, a file of Gladriel. Don't think that's worth anything too special. Oh, another uh, Ring Wraiths. Oh, it's a rare version. That one's pretty. That one's worth keeping. What else do we got? Samwise, the Stout Hearted, our uncommon. Oh, this is a mythic land. Valley of Gorgroth. I think I came across this one. I think this might be one of the kind of like chase lands. It's, it's a reprint of the, the wasteland land. It's a non foil, pretty. Pretty cool looking. Trying to see if I. Uh, all right, and this is. Is this foil? It's a non-foil, so it's it's not a bad pull actually. It's it's going for uh, about thirty-five Canadian. That's a pretty good. So for a single pack, that's a pretty good pull there. Plus, we got a ring wraiths in it, so. Definitely a good, good valley from that pack. And this Gandalf, friend of the Shire, pre-release card. Not sure if that's worth anything, but but worth sleeving and checking out for later. And then what else do we got? I think the rest are just the uncommons. Oh, we got a nice. Uh, Actually, this was the one that I had to get and add to my commander deck. So I know it's a few bucks. And then just a cool legless card. All right. So we've got six packs left. Still no soul ring, but we've gotten a few, a few good cards. Foil Army Orc token. All right, let's go through our uncommons. Oh, another Buckland Forest. Oh, a foil delight, uh, delighted halfling. That one is definitely a keeper.
and then born upon a wind. I don't think that's anything special. Brigand of the Guard. Give me a counter of kills. Oh, another mythic land. Oh, I never could pronounce this one. Um, Metacell, Golden Hall of Edoras. Knights of Dolomrith, Mirkwood Bats. Oh, and then we got the Foil Mythic Frodo. So let's dump these two commons and then we'll sleeve up our, our two Mythics. So our Mythic, or our, yeah, our Mythic Land. It's a non-foil. And I can't remember if I came across what what this one's going for yet. And then we have our Frodo, probably sometimes mythic rares aren't necessarily going for not necessarily going for a lot, but still, we'll sleeve it as a maybe. All right, five packs left. Jeez, gotta be careful. I don't want to butcher the pack that might have a serialized soul in it. Mm -hmm. Gentle. First rare it's Gladra Lothlorien. Next rare Paul of Kerandros and Riders of Rohan Peregrine Took. Oh, Helm's Deep. Another mythic land, that's pretty sharp. And then foray of the orcs. Oh, quick beam upstart int. It's a pretty cool foil, extended art, uncommon. Pretty cool for the collection. Oh, and then a Balrog. I think I have like two of these, so I'm pretty sure they're not worth much. Yeah, but the quick beam's good for good for the collection. And the Helm's Deep. That is also good for the collection. All right, so we have four packs left. Ooh, a small token. It's pretty cool. I think I already have one, but if not, great collection collector card. All right, so we have common. Common. More commons, some uncommons. 
and just restoration. Oh, here's, I don't think we've gotten this cool land yet. Oh, another cool Sauron card. What's this one? Oh, Radagast, the mythic. That one's pretty cool. Don't have that guy. Call for aid. Nothing too special there. Got that one already. Same with the Sauron. Ooh, a Morgul knife. Mythic. Legendary artifact. I believe this one is a uh, has a little bit of value to it. I'd have to double check. Ymir, Marshal of Rohan. Rare. Oh, and then Wizards Rockets. Another pre-release. This is a pretty sweet uh, card. It's another one where it's like. It's pretty cool for the collection, but it's not, even if it's not worth much. And Aragorn Company Leader. Pretty sure I have this one, but if not, again, it's worth worth adding to the collection. So these are the, I'd say the, the hits from, from that pack. Not sure if it's worth the value of the pack, but not too bad. All right, we're down to the last three packs. Still looking for that soul ring. Token. Ooh, second breakfast. Nice foil Thetan. I can swap this one out for the one in my uh, commander deck. Oh, Fangorn. I pulled this one recently, so I don't think it's worth anything too special. Horn of Gondor. I have like five of these now. Quadrum Ambush. Proto Pagans. Oh, the Dead Marshes. Another mythic land. Not a bad pull. Oh, here's the other, the non foil um, pre release Wizards Rockets. And oh, a, a shiny foil uh, Rivendell. I think I have one or two of those. I think they're worth a few, a few bucks. Worth sleeve it up. Actually, I just let me see. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this, the Dead Marshes, the mythic, rare, legendary land. Um, so on 401 Games, it's like a Canadian site. It's going for around $90 Canadian. Uh, out of stock, mind you, so I'd have to check what the uh, the current current market value is. So that's pretty pretty good. So not bad pulls for a for that pack. All right, we're down to the last two. Two packs. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice, it's a bad wound there. Esquire. Actually, I think. No, I don't think I have this. This foil version, so I'll have to throw that one in my collection. Display of power. Lobelia Defender of Bag End. It's a funny one. That's definitely worth the. Add into the collection. Our uncommon. Gladra of Lothlorien, the rare. Shire Sheriff, weapon special. Pippin's Bravery, I think I got a couple of those. Oh, we got a Mythic Rare coming up. Oh, Gandalf Westward Voyager. And I think I already have this one. I think this pack was a, a bit of a dud unless I Missed something, but maybe, maybe the Lobelia is worth something. Who knows? But we'll have to see afterwards. All right, down to the last pack. Don't be extra careful. I don't want to. Soul ring. All right, let's see. Out of commons. That's a pretty cool foil there. Oh, got a land. Ooh, the Mordor land. Well, the Mordor basic land. Don't have that one. That one's definitely going into the binder. All right, the moment of truth. Oh, good, a sting. Don't have plenty of those. And, ooh, knight, king of the oath breakers. That one's pretty cool. Four Thelingas. I think that one's actually worth uh, a fair bit. I'd have to double check actually. Another legless counter. Frodo, Sauron's Bane. Another Gimli Mournful Adventure. Oh, a Frodo Baggins foil. Pre-release, that's pretty cool. 
It's not a bad pull. And our last card is just Samwise Gamgee. Not too, uh, let's see, not too uh, climactic, I guess. I'll throw this guy on a sleeve because I think it's, he's at least good for the collection. This one's pretty cool and it's a pre-release one. Might be worth something. It's the Samwise foil. I don't have this one for the collection, so let's just let's leave this guy. And the fourth Ling is off to look it up later and see if that's worth anything good. So yeah, that's um, that was the box. So no soul ring, which we kind of it's so rare. I think there's like what three serialized or sorry three hundred serialized three hundred serialized uh, soul rings. Oh, Elven Soul Rings, and 3,000 non-serialized ones. So, so these are some of the, the key, we'll quickly, the key pulls we got. We got a lot of Mythic Lands, which is good. We didn't get the one that I was kind of hoping to get. Um, the Great, uh, the Great Henge. Um, but that's okay. That's the, the party tree. But we got like every other awesome mythic. Oh, it just hit me. I don't even think it's a, it's a land. It's a, it's a artifact. But either way, got a lot of great mythic legendary lands. Some, some cool ones, just even just for the, the binder. Some ones that are worth um, worth something. Some ring wraiths. Probably the biggest hit. Well, we got the ring. So early on, we got the Orcish Bowmasters and the one ring. Those two were probably the biggest hit. And then definitely the Dead Marshes. That's that one's up there. And then I'd have to look up some of these other ones to see if there's any other kind of big hits. But, but yeah, I'd have to kind of go back and see what the, the value is and see if the box was kind of worth it. But in my mind, it definitely was because it's, it's always fun to open up packs of cards. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next uh, booster box break. As I mentioned, it will be the, in a few weeks time, it will be the special edition uh, booster packs. So for these ones, a lot of the, the chase cards are like a serialized uh, poster, like the concert poster kind of psychedel psychedelic looking cards. Um, so those will be kind of the big ones we'll go for for those. And yeah, so that video will be out in a couple weeks. Um, so be sure to hit that bell so you won't, you'll be notified of it and you won't miss out. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.